2018, the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Stratton offloaded 50,550 pounds of cocaine in San Diego, California, as reported by Peter Haggerty on September 30th, 2017, in his article, Coast Guard Cutter Returns to Alameda After Seizing 350 Million in Narcotics, published in the Contra Costa Times. Many of us as Americans have in some way, shape, or form been touched by drugs. Whether that is through family and friends, um, rap songs as Daniel was telling us just the other day, or just as simply as the anti-drug rallies that have come through our different schools. The U.S. Coast Guard plays a key role in keeping drugs off of our shores. Over the past few weeks, I've been doing thorough research and trying to understand how it is they're able to intercept vessels before they reach our shores. I have learned who the Coast Guard is, what it is their, mi their mission roles are, the procedures that they actually use in order to intercept boats out on the water, and how they use partnerships to extend their reach. But first, who is the Coast Guard? What is it that they do for the American people? The Coast Guard, according to GoCoastGuard.com, is a military and law enforcement agency. They serve under the Department of Homeland Security and under the U.S. Navy in times of war. They are responsible for enforcing our nation's laws at sea along with keeping our marine life and oceans ecosystem um, in a natural state of habitat. A few weeks back, we talked about uh, earthquakes, and they are our first responders in any natural and man-made disasters. They fight against terrorism and foreign threats, and they guard over 100,000 miles of coast and waterways. John Macarcio published in his article, Strength in Numbers, in July of 2014, that the U.S. Coast Guard is the only entity that has the authority to make offshore drug arrests. But how do they know which boats to intercept versus others? In order to better understand this, I interviewed Chief Larry Owens, who has been serving with the U.S. Coast Guard since 1988. The first telltale sign is if a boat is riding low in the water. Most boats have a color differential stripe along the hull of the boat. If it is invisible, then that boat is being weighed down by something. At that time, the Coast Guard will call into Hitron, and, which is the helicopter squadron unit of the Coast Guard. They will let them know their coordinates, their speed they're traveling in, and the direction in which they're traveling. From there, they call into sector, and they ask if they can proceed with steps one through four. Step one is alerting the boat that they are the Coast Guard. They get on the loudspeaker, they honk their horn, they call over the radio, and they direct them to stop. Step two, they shoot tracer rounds around the boat to let them know that they are serious, that they want them to stop. Step three is a bit more of an aggressive form of step two. They shoot off extra grenades, and these grenades shoot off flashing lights and a bunch of loud sounds. And finally, step four, if the boat still has not stopped, the Coast Guard will pull up alongside the boat, as you see here, and they'll shoot out the engines of the boat, causing it to become dead in the water. From here, the Coast Guard will go ahead and board the boat and inspect to make sure all of our laws are being upheld, while at the same time investigating to figure out what it is that's causing this boat to be weighted down. Has anybody here traveled to Arizona or Nevada or just been out in the desert at all? So you've seen desert landscape. The ocean kind of has the same effect. There are hundreds of millions of miles of ocean landscape, and we only have about 42,000 currently serving for the US Coast Guard. So how can they make such an impact for us? John Macarcio wrote Finding a Common Goal, published in Sea Power, a US Marine news periodical in July of 2016 about the use of partnerships to extend the net that the Coast Guard has. Through these partnerships with foreign agencies, our men go out and train 
these other agencies to be better equipped to handle crime out on the water and at the same time relationships relationships have been built in order to share information with each other the US Coast Guard is one of five of the armed forces of the United States they play a key role in keeping drugs from our shores to help better protect us they do this through key missions that they have that they have committed themselves to serving us with, through the use of specific tactics, and finally through use, the use of partnerships to extend their reach. On October 4th, 2017, Chief Petty Officer Dana Hostings posted on the US Coast Guard's official, web, uh, official blog, Coast Guard Compass, that the 2017 year was the record breaking in cocaine seizures. They brought in 455,000 pounds of cocaine, which totals more than $6 billion in revenue. They are the first responders and our first line of defense, and they always take the call. Thank you.